So we're taking a look at the HP 15 EF 2126 WM. Now this is a 15 inch extremely budget laptop that has been on sale on Walmart for a few weeks now and it is $400 for this 15 inch laptop and the specs of it are kind of insane for that price. We've got a Ryzen 5 5500U, 8 gigabytes of RAM in a 2x4 configuration with a 256 gigabyte SSD. At this price point, that CPU is actually an insane deal and even the 8 gigabytes of RAM coming in a 2x4 configuration is actually kind of crazy. Normally you'll have OEMs just skimp out on the RAM, usually just putting in one stick, or you'll just get something that is a Celeron or Pentium level at this price point. But no, we are getting a full Ryzen 5 5500U. So that is six cores, 12 threads for $400. Now there are some caveats to this, and this is not the perfect deal, unfortunately, in my book, and I'll explain to you why. The main issue and the real deal breaker is the display. Now it is a 1080p display, but it is a TN panel. Now all screens aren't created equal, you know, and TN panels are for sure the weakest out there, but this is an astonishingly bad TN panel. I own a TN panel. I have this 144 Hertz TN panel that I've been using for years now. And the color accuracy on that is miles ahead of this. This is so bad, it is practically unusable, if you ask me. The viewing angles are terrible. It's bright, but it's so bright that it washes out everything. It's really unfortunate how bad the screen is because this laptop is easily upgradable. Now, not super easily in that you can see there's only two screw holes. So I would imagine you have to remove little rubber leg thingies to uh, get to the other screws, which is super unfortunate, but I didn't look into it. Now the build itself in general is just really nice. It's actually better than what I was expecting for the price. It doesn't feel super premium, but it doesn't feel as cheap as I was expecting for the price point. For a 15 inch laptop, it's not very big and the build is at least decent enough that I think it can withstand a little bit of abuse. The touchpad was fine, but the keyboard was really kind of a letdown. I found that using it, it didn't really feel right. The keys were a little too stiff. And when you would really press down on some of them, there would it would make kind of like a squeaking sound. And it was really annoying to, to like feel it and hear it. So it was kind of not the best typing experience. It definitely felt like a cheap laptop experience. Really almost everything about this laptop is passable, but that display is just the biggest letdown and it really ruins the experience because the performance is actually really great. Now at stock, the CPU is set to 15 watts, but you can actually raise that all the way up to 25 watts and that is going to net you some nice performance. But even at the 15 watts, the performance that you're getting is actually very, very good for the price. This is just insane levels of per performance per dollar. That gateway that I have looked at before that is like the budget king, it doesn't reach these levels of performance. There are games that are going to run on this chip that won't run on the Intel system. And it's because of the fact that the drivers just aren't as mature. So you're getting a more mature driver stack. You get a more powerful CPU and you get more powerful integrated graphics. Now, the downsides are you get the eight gigabytes of RAM instead of 16, so you are going to have to upgrade that. And if you're not comfortable doing that, you are really putting yourself at a disadvantage there. But I mean, testing this chip out, even with the eight gigabytes, you can still play games on it, and it's going to do better in some games than the Intel system is. The biggest downside though is just how bad that screen is. It is literally, unusable like here is again how it looked like me trying to record it and it looked awful and here is the ips screen of the gateway and it's really crazy how big of a difference the screen makes in terms of usability of a laptop 
like the kinds of games that you could play on this hp laptop is actually kind of insane like back for blood ran pretty great on here at 1080p yeah the one percent lows don't look absolutely amazing but even if you drop the resolution just a little bit you're gonna have a very consistent experience and honestly on a 400 hundred dollar laptop this is already crazy levels of performance that we're getting here like you can play games like this on this laptop it's just it looks hideous it looks absolutely terrible on the screen that it comes with and it has made me not want to use this laptop i found myself regularly just reaching for my gateway instead of this because of the fact that the screen was just so much better you know it's night and day difference and it is not the greatest ips display that they put on that gateway don't get me wrong it is not the greatest screen ever in fact i think it is what is the bare minimum of what you should expect from a modern day screen so the fact that this hp is just so significantly worse is to its detriment it really honestly kills the deal and it's hard to say that because the performance per dollar here is insane especially if you're willing to upgrade the ram yourself because it has the two slots that you can easily access you can turn this into a powerhouse of a computer for not a lot of money because you can put in 16 gigabytes of ram for around 60 us dollars or you could put in 32 gigabytes of ram for around 110 us dollars so that means that for essentially 460 dollars you can have yourself a six core 12 thread laptop with 16 gigabytes of ram or you could have a six core 12 thread laptop with 32 gigabytes of ram for just 500 dollars and that's kind of a crazy deal it really is it's just the fact that the screen is just so bad that it is pretty much unusable that kind of kills the deal so if you want this to be like you this is going to be your only system you know this is all you have i would honestly recommend not going with this and going with the gateway because the benefits you get for the gateway is you get the ips display you get the 16 gigabytes of ram you get a i5 that is not that far behind this ryzen 5 and you get essentially a more complete package here you know because the display is just so important to the usability of a laptop and this this if anything that is the biggest lesson i took away from using this laptop that the performance doesn't really matter if the screen is just unusable and that is pretty much what this screen is it is unusable but i mean if you're one of those people that is just trying to maximize their dollar here in terms of just pure performance you don't even care about the screen too much this is an amazing deal it genuinely is it's just if they had just put in the cheapest ips display they could find it would be better than what they did here with this tn panel this tn panel is just absolutely awful would you hook this up to an external monitor you let like let's say an external you know 144 hertz 1080p monitor with games like fortnite suddenly you're doing some high refresh rate gaming on a 400 dollars laptop this isn't even with a like this is without a ram upgrade already out of the box you can get some very very nice performance but you need that external monitor because if you're using the built-in monitor you are not going to be able to have a good experience and it's unfortunate because i hooked this up also to my 1440p lg monitor that i use for all my video editing and i actually edited a few videos on there you know some videos that actually went up on the channel were edited on this machine the issue is that i just could not do it with the laptop's screen i've done that with the uh, the gateway one you know Again, not a super color accurate screen, but it is accurate enough that I can, you know, get by. The screen on this is just so bad. You are not going to be able to do that. There is not going to be an ounce of accuracy to any of the color choices you're going to be making.
overall the only way i could describe this laptop is just a real shame you know because the screen is such a letdown that it actually turns it into a bad deal even if it was 50 dollars more if it had an ips screen comparable to this gateway i would be more likely to use it but as it stands i think that the gateway is just the way to go if you want to maximize your dollar for the usability of the laptop because the screen is just so much better you can have a better time using it with the hp you're going to have to rely on an external monitor to get a good experience and that's not really something i would recommend for a device like this especially if it's going to be your only device if you're not going to have an external monitor you're going to have a bad time just outright you are going to have a bad time at least with the gateway you get a screen that's usable you know you get a screen that's usable both don't have backlit keyboards i prefer the keyboard on the gateway i will say that the hp has a better trackpad and like the build quality on the hp is just marginally better not like leagues better or anything like that but it is better but not enough to make me shy away from the gateway because the gateway really is still just the most bang for buck you can get because of the fact that it actually comes with a display that isn't unusable so that's my take on the laptop i mean if you're willing to pull up with the screen go right ahead you're gonna get a lot of performance per dollar there but i feel like for almost everyone you're better off spending a little bit more to get yourself the gateway